Okay, um, let's continue with the other new words and expressions. So here, number seven, okay, number seven, from like some time or place to or till some time or place, okay? So in Chinese, we say 从到, okay, 从到. So 从 is a proposition from or since a certain like time or location, right? And 到 is a verb up until, up to, by a certain time or location, okay? Let's let's make some phrases with this structure. Okay, so how to say from nine o'clock to eleven o'clock? From nine o'clock to eleven o'clock. In Chinese, we say 从九点到十一点, right? 从九点到十一点. So from nine o'clock to eleven o'clock. Okay, let's uh, make another example. How to say, uh, how to say, from school to home, uh, from school till or to my home. Okay, in Chinese we say, 从学校到家, right? 从学校到家, so from school to home, right? Okay, let's make a more complicated structure okay so how to say from eight o'clock from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock i work or in, in english um so like more native english would be i work from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock right uh, for, i work from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock okay so in chinese in Chinese, like similar to this zai structure, we put this cong and dao structure before the verb. Okay, so in Chinese we say, 我从八点到十一点工作. 我从八点到十一点工作. Or like similar, we can use another verb, 上班, to go to work, to go to work or to be on duty. 我从八点到十一点上班, that's okay, right? 上班 means be on duty, like 工作, similar to 工作, right? Okay, number nine is, is, is easy, it's weekend, weekend, 周末, 周末. So which day in the week is weekend? So would you please answer in Chinese? Right, 星期六, 和星期日, or we say 星期天, right? So Sunday we have two like uh, ways to say Sunday in Chinese, right? 星期日 or 星期天, okay, right? So 周末, we mean 星期六, 星期日, 星期天, right? And compared to 周末, so we got ordinary times or normal times, which means like work days, perhaps, right? So we got 周末, uh, compared to 周末, we got 平时, uh, 平时, which means ordinary times, or maybe work days, 平时, right? So let's make a sentence, like at what time, like in your ordinary times you go to bed? At what time, like or maybe usually, you usually go to bed in your ordinary times, at what time you go to bed? So we can use 平时 to make this sentence, right? So, 你平时, uh, 你平时几点睡觉? Uh, 你平时几点睡觉? So, at what time in your ordinary times you go to bed, right? Okay, next one is easy. School, 学校, right? And canteen, cafeteria, always say school dining hall, 食堂, okay? So we got two nouns here, which, which, which are quite easy to us, right? And next one, Next one is a phrase like the like when, when a while a certain time. So we in Chinese we say like 什么什么的时候, and 时候 means the duration of a certain time, the duration of a certain time. Okay, so how to say when we have class, when we have a class, so we say 上课的时候, 上课的时候, when I'm on duty, so 
which means when I am at work beyond duty. So in Chinese we say 上班的时候, 啊, 上班的时候, right? So some time, okay, uh, be a certain uh, duration of certain time, okay? And next one, prepare a meal or make a meal. In Chinese we say 做饭, 做饭, so which means like cook, to cook, right? So we can ask this question in Chinese, like, do you cook? Do you cook? 你做饭吗? Do you cook in your ordinary times? How to say this sentence? Do you cook in your ordinary times? Like, do you usually cook? 你平时做饭吗? 你平时做饭吗? Right? Okay. And next one is a dish. A dish or call or course we say 菜, right? 菜. So this 菜 simply means like a certain series of cook, right? Like like Chinese dish or Korean dish or maybe Pakistan dish, right? So this is a kind of a certain type or kind of meal, maybe of different countries. So we can, in this case, we can use this cai. So Chinese dish, we say 中国菜, uh, 中国菜, right? Maybe Chinese cuisine, right? Chinese cuisine, the Chinese dish, okay? And 韩国菜, 韩国菜, like Korean cuisine, right? Korean dish, uh, 巴基斯坦菜, Pakistan cuisine dish, 巴基斯坦菜. Okay, and also in spoken Chinese, the Thai also have a different, another meaning, the other meaning, which means, so when you have meal, we have the main food, main food, right? Like in China, in, in, in China, usually we have like mi fan, like steamed the rice, steamed the rice as our main food. And then when we have main food, we also have some dishes. So this is also Thai. So when we fan, 吃饭的时候,吃饭的时候,也吃菜, uh, right? Uh, so, 饭菜, mm. and the last one is 聊天, uh, to chat, to chat, 聊天, to chat with a friend, chat with a friend, 跟朋友聊天, uh, 跟朋友聊天, so we also should pay attention to the word order, chat with a friend. So similarly to this one, like Zai plus location, so we always put this adverbial part, adverbial part before the word. So chat with friend in Chinese, with a friend chat, like this, in this way. So 跟朋友聊天, so this 跟朋友 we put before the word chat, not afterwards, right? So 跟朋友聊天, okay, so we should like um, get like used to the word out of Chinese, okay? And like you can tell the difference between English word order and Chinese word order, right? Okay. So that's the uh, all the new words and expressions of text one, okay? And now let's come into the text, text one. Okay, so here we got a short passage, a short passage, okay? So first, I will just play the recording of this text, and you just listen carefully, and listen, pay attention to the uh, pronunciation and the new words we have just learned. Okay, okay. Now let's begin. 课文，我的同屋是中国人，他在一家汽车公司工作，他每天都很忙。从早上八点到下午五点，都在公司上班。有时候周末也去上班。平时我在学校食堂吃饭，他也不在家吃饭。休息的时候，我们在家做饭。我做韩国菜，他做中国菜，我们一起吃饭聊天。Okay, so this is just the text one. So here, as you see, we got the short passage. 
Okay, now let's confirm the meaning of this short passage. Okay, so we will make just a translation from Chinese to English to make sure that you understand the meaning of this text. Okay, so we will just first give a literal translation. I mean, according to the Chinese, what other we will translate word by word into English, and then we will give a more native English. Okay, so the first one, 我的同屋是中国人. Okay, my roommate is Chinese. Okay, that's good. 我的同屋是中国人. My roommate is Chinese. Okay, okay, here. 他在一家汽车公司工作. So here, he at a car, or we say a motor vehicle company work. So this is a, a literal translation according to the Chinese word order, right? So in English, which means English, we say he works, he works here with first translation work, right? He works at a car or we say a motor vehicle company, right? So that's the more native English way to say it. He works at a, a motor vehicle company. But in Chinese, we say 他在一家公司,一家汽车公司工作, uh, so we put at a motor vehicle company before, uh, before the word work, right? 他在一家汽车公司工作. 他每天都很忙, so he every day all very busy. He every day all very busy, so he is busy every day, right? 从早上八点, 到下午五点都在公司上班 So from in the morning 8 o'clock to in the afternoon 5 o'clock all at company work or be on duty, right? So he's busy every day, right? So every day he works at the company, he works at the company from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, right? So please pay attention to the word order. 有时候周末也去上班, so sometime we can also go to work. So which means sometime even in the weekend, he, he, also, uh, he also go to work, right? He also goes to work. Okay, so 平时我在学校食堂吃饭, okay, so in ordinary times, I at school dining hall to have meal, which means like usually I eat at school dining hall. 他也不在家吃饭, so he also not at home to have meal, which means he doesn't have meal. He does he doesn't have meal at home neither, right? He doesn't have meal at home neither. So this is yeah, right? You can, you can see. 休息的时候, so when we rest, while we rest, 休息的时候, 我们在家做饭, so we at home cook to prepare meal, right? So English we say we cook, we cook at home. So this at home in Chinese, according to the Chinese grammar, we put before the verb 做饭, so 我们在家做饭, 我做韩国菜, I cook Korean cuisine. 他做中国菜, he cook Chinese dish or Chinese cuisine, right? 我们一起吃饭聊天, right? So we together have meal and chat. So we together have meal and chat. So which means we eat and chat together, right? So this together in Chinese we put, we, we put before the word. So here the translation, as you can see, we should pay attention to the grammar knowledge we just learned, right? So zai plus a location, a place, in Chinese we should put this structure before the verb. So here like zai gong si shang ban, work at a company. In Chinese we say zai gong si shang ban. Okay, here zai xue xiao shi tang shi fan, to eat at the school dining hall, right? So in Chinese we put this zai xue xiao shi tang before the verb. 在学校食堂吃饭, okay? And cook at home. 在家做饭, in Chinese, at home cook. 
like this way, right? We don't say 做饭在家. That would be a wrong order according to Chinese grammar. So from this short passage, so we should pay attention to this grammar point, okay? And now please try to answer the three questions. So according to the context of text one, okay? So the first one, let's read the question together. 我同屋在哪儿工作? Again, please. 我同屋在哪儿工作? So who can translate this sentence into Chinese? Who can translate this question into Chinese? Right. So where does my roommate work? Where does my room roommate work? So the answer? 我同屋在哪儿工作? Right. 他在一家汽车公司工作, correct. He works at a car company. Okay, the second one. 我平时在哪儿吃饭? So in ordinary times, where do I have meal? Right? And the answer? Right. 平时我在学校食堂吃饭. So usually in ordinary times. So I eat at the school dining hall, right? Okay, let's come to the last question. 休息的时候,我和同屋做什么? So while we rest, when we have a rest time. So what do I and my roommate do? What do I and my roommate do? Okay, so how to answer, please? Correct. 休息的时候,我们在家做饭, right? So when we have a, 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 you know, a, a rest time, so we cook at home. Okay, so that's the text one, and that's all for today. We'll continue on Thursday.